Welcome to the Car Seat Lady videos. I'm going to show you how to install the Kleck Flow rear facing using the vehicle's lap and shoulder belt. I've already assembled the seat. I've put the headrest on and adjusted it so that the bottom of the headrest is just about but not touching the child's shoulders. I've also set the shoulder straps that they're coming from at or a little bit below the, sh the child's shoulders. I've installed my anti-rebound bar and I've adjusted the rear facing recline foot so that it's positioned towards the child's knees rather than when it's used forward facing where it goes under the butt. The first thing to install it is I need to remove the circular buckle cover in order to remove the seat pad. To remove the seat pad, I'm gonna push the little tabs here towards the, where the child sits and then lift the seat cover off. I'm going to use one of the blue lock offs and I'm gonna to choose to use the one that's closer to where the seatbelt buckles in. So I'm gonna start off by opening that up. I'm also going to notice my seatbelt guides. I have four of them, two here and two tiny ones at the back. These are perhaps the most important ones in that if your seatbelt is even a little bit over the little blue notch, when you go to close the seatbelt locking device, you will typically break the blue lock off as you try to close it. However, if you're careful and make sure that the seatbelt is under the tiny notch, you will never break the blue lock off. So to install my seat, I'm gonna position it. I've chosen to put it in the center. You could put it on the side as well. The center is statistically the safest spot of the car. I'm going to take the belt, gonna pass it through here. I am not going to pull the shoulder belt all the way out, just enough to get it buckled. I'm gonna move the child's crotch buckle out of the way and I'm gonna buckle it in. Make sure your belt is nice and straight and make sure that the lap belt, which is the bottom belt, is under all four of the notches. If you haven't done so already, move your front seats up all the way. It will give you the room that you need to work. Now, come from behind the seat, put your stomach on the top of the seat, grab hold of the shoulder belt. You're gonna hold it as close to where the seat belt has buckled in, but still on the top of the seat. Don't try to pull from the side. So I'm taking the shoulder belt here. I'm gonna use my stomach to shift the car seat side to side, and I'm gonna pull. Then I'm gonna hold with one hand. In this case, I'm gonna use my left hand, holding all of the slack that I've pulled, and my right hand is gonna close the blue lock off. To check if it's tight, first check at the belt path. Put a hand right where the seat belt is coming, pull towards and away from you. That seat should move less than an inch. That felt super tight. I found another way you can check with this car seat is to grab the steel bar at the back of the seat and try to wiggle it. If the seat wiggles, it might be a little looser than you had thought it is. If it's really tight here, then it's super tight everywhere. Now I'm ready to put back the seat cover. Move the child's harness straps out of the way. Make sure you pull the crotch buckle through the slot that you're using in the shell, as well as the cover. Then you're gonna bang down. And then you can replace the circular buckle cover. Check to make sure that you didn't get the child's harness adjuster strap caught. And you're done. Enjoy the ride. To remove your Kleck flow, first remove the circular buckle cover. Then push the little tabs that are down here towards the front of the car. And then pull the seat cover up. Now undo your seat belt and then undo the blue lock off. And now your seat is out. 